Whether you are protecting your house or your person, the right gear is necessary when you are braving the elements. Use these tips to help you stay weatherproof. The Weather Channel commemorates Memorial Day. And now, you're local on the 8th. A flood watch and a tornado watch have been issued for our area by the National Weather Service. Currently in our area, 64 degrees with a thunderstorm. For tonight, thunderstorms, some strong during the evening will give way to partly cloudy skies after midnight, low 67. And on Monday, abundant sunshine, very warm, high 89. And Monday night, a mostly clear sky, low 70. Our week ahead. Seasons change, so does the threat of severe weather. All season long, when dark skies threaten, when floodwaters rise, the Weather Channel is ready to keep your family safe. With over 200 meteorologists in our global forecast center, you get scientific analysis for every storm, every hour. In the studio, in the field, and at your fingertips, our passion for weather has never been more valuable to you. Stay with the Weather Channel. Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Kelly Cash, joined by our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes. We are breaking into weather caught on camera because we have breaking news in the Detroit area, Toledo as well. We are getting some dangerous storms rolling on into the area, Greg. Yeah, Kelly, these storms have passed 70 mile per hour winds that come across Cali A flash flood there, warning there, has been issued for your area. And threats for tornadoes, we have all of these storm areas in red, counties in, in red, storm-based warnings in red with tornado warnings uh, on them, indicating the possibility that brief tornadoes could spin up along the leading edge of this line of thunderstorms. The line itself has gotten a little bit more broken, but there's embedded strong storms in that. You can see how the northern end of this swirls. It's like the comma punctuation mark, it's rotating comma head here, going to head toward the Port Huron area of Michigan, and then that line all the way down into Toledo. And this is the frontal area, so a few hours from now, these storms will roll toward Cleveland. But at the moment, it's southeast Michigan, including Detroit, that has this big threat for severe thunderstorms. Here's the big picture why this is all happening. It has had a long history of coming across Iowa, across northern Illinois, into Chicago, into Kalamazoo, across northern Indiana. Now it's bearing down on southeast parts of Michigan. It began as a lot of warm, moist air off the uh, Texas and Oklahoma and Kansas. At, that's where it's at its a surface, but it capped. So the warm air aloft kept the thunderstorms from forming there. But instead, what happened when that moist air hit and got lifted by the front here in Iowa, it was able to remove that cap. And the storms have gotten out of control as they've rolled across Michigan uh, now and are producing damaging wind gusts. We also have a dry line, the new severe thunderstorm watch in parts of uh, Texas and Oklahoma with that. And for tomorrow, big upper air cold pocket coming out of Nevada today will give severe weather the Dakotas, Nebraska, parts of Minnesota tomorrow. But we have quite a threat ongoing today uh, for this cluster of thunderstorms right now. Southeast Michigan, parts of northwest uh, Ohio, across northern Ohio, it'll roll into northwest Pennsylvania, as well as over into western parts of New York. And overnight, we'll have a threat anywhere from southeast Wyoming over into Wisconsin for hail. But let's go to our high resolution radar and see where those threats are right now. Uh, and we do have near Flint, up in the uh, Genesee area, possible tornado. That's that rotating head that I was talking about in this comma pattern. That'll go across Flint, over in across southeast Michigan. Up just to the north of Detroit here, around the, the Monroe, the Pontiac, the Estrell Beach area, a possible tornado in that little curly cube. And then Monroe County here, uh, Estrell Beach area, possible tornado. Thunderstorms of strong winds coming across the Toledo area. And so let's take a look at a couple more of these storms in particular detail. And Greg, we have had reports, by the way, of trees being knocked down. So this is definitely something we need to take seriously. Yeah, there have been lots of trees that have been knocked down, some of them onto homes. So what this little swirl that I talked about, it's right around the Flint area heading toward Lapeer. Damaging wind gusts, possibly a tornado in these storms. I'll slide a little bit farther down to the south. 
Here's that next little curly cue that I showed you, just to the south of Pontiac, heading over toward the Warren, the Mount Clemens area of Michigan. You could get a possible tornado developing on that one, damaging wind gusts. Coming right into the Detroit area, even these storms uh, could push some strong winds down to the ground with wind gusts, and then especially down around Monroe, Michigan, uh, a possibility of a rotation there as you're getting, you see. Uh, a flash flood warning has been issued for slide, your area. One more slide down to the south. And strong winds there coming across anywhere from now just south of Toledo over into the Fremont and then Sandusky, Ohio area. So very dangerous the storms rolling across these areas. Let's go to our uh, Viz 700 and we'll take a look at Torcon for today and then again for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. For today, Kelly, uh, we uh, have mostly now pushed out of some of these red areas, but it's this leading half now, the red shaded area, that's this big thunderstorm cluster that's out of control. So still northwest Ohio, we have a Torcon value of 4, 40% 40 chance of a tornado within 50 miles, and the remaining parts of northeast Indiana still a 4. Uh, we'll take a look then uh, as we go into tomorrow, and we'll see that a tornado outbreak is a possibility for the eastern Dakotas down into eastern Nebraska, north central Kansas, and across parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin. Higher Torcon values there. We get some of the upper air forcing involved. It won't be just the storms that are driving themselves. So I've given a Torcon of seven for eastern parts of North Dakota, northwest Minnesota, 70% chance of a tornado within 50 miles. Then we go into eastern South Dakota, southwest parts of Minnesota, Torcon value there of six on a 10 point scale. And over in the eastern parts of Nebraska, a six as well. Down into north central Kansas, Torcon of five. So today, it's a bit of a, a renegade thunderstorm cluster that's without very much upper forcing. But Kelly, tomorrow we get some organization to things as cold pocket loft comes out of Nevada and gives us yet another round. And that will go through Tuesday and Wednesday, Wednesday up into New England. Then Thursday, on comes the next one. So this Crazy. stormy pattern continues. And we want to take a live look at Detroit right now, where things are quiet for now, Greg, as you were mentioning. But, you know, it's Memorial Day weekend, and folks might be out there boating or wanting to get out there on the boat. I would say probably hold off on that. Is there dangerous lightning coming with these storms as well, Greg? Yeah, the storms, there's definitely dangerous lightning. There's some brief, very heavy rain. It's being blown by strong wind. But it's getting a little bit more spotty. At times, as it came across Michigan, it was a continuous solid line. At this point, there are some breaks in between. So some places will get clobbered, other places are going to get spared. Let's go back to your close-up radar there on Graphics 15, and I want to point out Cedar Point is a very popular amusement park, too. Uh, they're located not too far from Sandusky here, and we've got some uh, really dangerous weather headed for that area. So Definitely. if you know somebody there, give them a ring on the cell phone, let them know that there's this dangerous cluster of storms headed their way. Definitely dangerous storms there. All of these yellow indicate severe thunderstorms, and within that one, a little bit of a lavender core, some hail uh, indicated uh, when typically when we have that. Uh, some s uh, hail cores, small hail, it's probably going to be about nickel size. Some could be one inch size here from Sandusky back into that hail core area. Take a look here. Uh, we'll slide back up into the area around uh, Monroe, Michigan. Again, we continue to have that storm. We'll slide over into Canada and uh, onto the lakes there with some pretty strong rotation slide up into the area around Detroit. It's mostly going to be this storm that's just to the uh, north uh, and south, I should say, of Pontiac that has the strongest rotation at this point, a tornado warning coming from south of Pontiac into the Mount Clemens area. So, And again, we are getting reports of several trees. I saw one report, Greg, of possibly over 40 trees that have been toppled with these very strong winds. And right now we're looking at the velocity showing us that uh, storm coming through. Yeah, here's Pontiac. So there is a bit of a little gust front on the storm that is uh, winds coming around from the northwest and then the shifting winds right in here. You see the reds and the greens. So right along that little wind shift line. A flash flood warning has been issued for your area. Some brief tornado reports as these storms have come across the area. Another one of these uh, rotation sources near this Flint uh, Genesee area. So dangerous storms rolling across Michigan at this time. Now, this is the same cluster that moved through earlier in Chicago, Greg? Yeah, this cluster began this morning in Iowa, rolled across the Chicago, especially just a little bit south of Chicago. The Kankakee area uh, was a very hard hit, lots of trees down there. Uh, funnel clouds reports in Kankakee and in the area near that. Then it rolled across northwest Indiana, Plymouth, Indiana, up into southwest parts of Michigan, Kalamazoo, Michigan, being hit by some measured at a couple of schools, 70 mile per hour wind gusts. Lots of trees down there, some funnel clouds, possible tornadoes mm -hmm. in that area. So it has been rolling eastward at about 50 miles per hour. Wow. Much of it now will go in over within the next 15 to 20 minutes. Much of it will go into Canada. We'll continue, though, to monitor its south edge uh, because that part here, you can see where Cleveland is, that very southern edge 
could roll uh, over into the Cleveland area. We'll hope that it will lift north and, and go right out over Lake Erie. But Cleveland then would be the next major metro area that might be clipped or just grazed by this big, what we call a, a thunderstorm complex. And when we take the full uh, technical day mesoscale convective system. Mesoscale mean it's me medium size. It's mm -hmm. much bigger than the ordinary thunderstorm. Uh, then convective means it's from thunderstorms and the system is, is kind of obvious. All right, we're taking a live look now. This is one of our Terracam views of Cleveland, Ohio, Greg. You can obviously see the clouds hanging down over the city. We've had uh, reports of trees down near Detroit. And of course, terrible airport delays, especially back towards Chicago, where as you mentioned, they were hit first with this cluster of storms that is now moving across Michigan and Ohio. Yeah, at times, uh, Chicago there had delays that were more than two hours, I think approaching three hours at one time that I saw as a consequence of all the thunderstorms rolling through the area. We, at that point, had uh, severe thunderstorm warnings with winds uh, indicated on radar that the winds could have been as high as 80 miles per hour, but they were running a little bit over top of a front. And so there was a little bit of a cool layer at the surface that was keeping the winds from getting real strong in Chicago. It was a little bit farther down to the south where the cool layer was shallower, down near Kankakee where the main core of damaging winds went across. But now as we get over here into the Detroit area, uh, we're into that area where the cold air is either non-existent or very, very shallow. So we're into a place now where the storms can drive some of those damaging winds down to the ground and uh, are, are doing that. They've been doing that across Michigan. And that's why we're here breaking news of course, instead of weather caught on camera to bring you the very latest on these storms that are moving across Michigan as well as Ohio. There again is another live look at Detroit, Michigan, where we've got the clouds out there right now. But Greg, can we time these storms and tell folks in Detroit and Cleveland when we think the worst of the weather is going to be upon them? Well, for Detroit, the worst of the weather will be over uh, in the course of the next 20 minutes or so. For Cleveland, it's probably going to be, oh, about uh, an hour and a half to two hours from now if the tail end of this line uh, stays that far south. It may lift a little bit and go out over Lake, uh, Lake Michigan, I mean, uh, Lake Erie, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, it's going to be a close call for Cleveland. And it's, again, it's Memorial Day weekend. A lot of us are out and about, so if you know somebody who's trying to get some boating in or maybe they're having a picnic somewhere in a park, definitely give them a ring. Let them know that we've got some uh, dangerous weather on the way. We've already had reports of numerous trees being toppled, even some on homes. We don't know about any injuries, but hopefully... A flash flood warning has been issued for your area. Tuesday. We'll be getting uh, another round of severe weather from that same storm system that gives tomorrow a threat for tornadoes in the Dakotas and Minnesota. Stay we'll with right. the Weather Channel we'll for more coverage. Agents, let's welcome Beast, an exchange student from the X-Men school. So what do you guys study? Um, do you know about discounts? Do you have a cafeteria? What about ways to save people money? Do you have Taco Tuesdays? Have you guys started combining policies? I like your hair. Agents, please. I don't know what the X-Men do at their school, but I hope they're treating our guy better than we're treating Beast. Kind of looks like a target. Not cool. We are insurance. We are farmers. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum.